that's mayo and this is hibachi uh, vegetables. I don't know if I said that right. And fried rice or something like that. This is the restaurant. It has good reviews on uh, Google Maps. Prepping my sushi. This is the rainbow roll. Mm. Pretty dang tasty for not being around a ocean or anywhere where I mean the fish doesn't taste bad or anything it's got seaweed in there too cucumber salmon and tuna definitely not the most elaborate uh, rainbow roll I've ever seen Kind of looks like the rolls that you can buy in um, grocery stores. Mm, that was um, this was six dollars and eighty nine cents. Mmm, I love me some ginger. <laughs> I need to put more ginger in there though. This one comes with uh, 10 rolls. I think I'm just going to have half of it and then save the rest for Howie. Um, I didn't even put soy sauce on it, dang it. Um... Much better with soy sauce. Uh, the last place I went to had uh, plenty of uh, ginger. I don't even think how he uh, ate the ginger. Maybe I'll have one more and save him four <laughs> and eat the last piece of ginger. Super tasty for being in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of uh, Japanese places out here.
So those are that's the salmon rolls or the rainbow roll. And then I got the hibachi vegetables and fried rice. Mm, that doesn't really look like fried rice. Maybe it's just regular rice. So I usually get uh, vegetables because it's always a safe bet. I have a hard time. Fat and stuff really bugs me when I'm eating, so I usually don't get meats at uh, Asian most places. I don't get meats unless it's like chicken strips or something like that. Mm. Broccoli, zucchini, onions, I don't eat onions, um, carrots, carrots, broccoli, Super tasty. Mmm. Zucchini. I don't want to eat the onions, but I'll show you what the onions look like. Let's see how the rice tastes. I think the rice at the other place was better. This rice tastes a little dried out. Overall, pretty good. Definitely worth it since it's like right down the street. Um, if y'all want to see reviews on the places that I visit or the actual locations of the places that I visit, come and check out my OnlyFans uh, page. It's the only place that I'll be posting all of that information in one place. I might do basic reviews on Google Maps, but that's the one place that I'll be posting specifics for anybody that's interested. Uh, 